Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. In some Niji Sanji news we have Kirio ex Niji Sanji in this case, who used to be Hex Haywire, who is going to be returning October 12th. We already know some of the history of Hex Haywire. A lot of people have been following me and have been watching my videos, already know some of the history of Hex and some of the problematic things he's done as Hex. As I've always said, there is a chance for redemption as long as you do not mess up what you do when you're trying to get redeemed. Uh, Kirio will have to show whether or not they're going to continue the same thing they did with the Sicklings as Hex or if they are going to actually make things better. I am not holding my breath on that because uh, if you've done that for years and if you continue doing that for years and that was your whole identity, then I don't think that's going to change specifically when you make it your uh, persona online. So a lot of people are like, okay, moving on. He's just going to spam his sending stream titles to get people to watch him. Uh, who? Uh, who cares? Sunday returns October 1st and think Anime PL comes back next month as well. I'm as PL. Uh, while I stand a general point, I want to clarify that I can't find anything about Sunny returning on the 1st. She does, as I've said on my other ones. She said she's going to be returning in October. Not necessarily the 1st. She did say October. So we don't know about the first specific, but we do know that October is the day set. And of course, no one wants to pressure Sunny for returning anytime soon. But X Niji is returning soon. It seems like in October, at least the most recent X Niji, Kunai being Sunny and Hex being, uh, you know, Kirio at this point. And of course, people are like me wondering what the heck is going on. And here is Kirio doing his thing, uh, showing off his eyes. I'm not going to say that the, the, the color, the color scheme is good. The color scheme is good. Like I say, I will give them the, the, uh, benefit of the doubt, but I'm not holding my breath on them changing anytime soon. Just giving you guys a little bit of an update, just so you guys know what's going on, because you know me, whether it, I try to be as objective as possible when it comes to everything, just uh, giving you guys a look into what's going on. We have Stellarblade, or Famitsu in this case, Famitsu.com, having an article about Stellarblade's Kim Hyun Tai creates music that matches the world he pursues. Uh, shift up email interview to celebrate the release of soundtrack. The song was influenced by Final Fantasy uh, 13-2, Ling Tosite Sigure, and Mori Calliope. So Mori Calliope, Calliope, hey, whether you're in Japan or the US, was an actual um, good S. Dad being there, being a actual um, influence for the song. Mori is like, huh, me? It's like, what? This is me? What? It's like, that's so cool. It, it, like, it feels amazing, of course, for anybody to be an inspiration for any of this kind of stuff. And moving on with a little bit more of uh, this kind of stuff. I, I just like popping out with these things. Uh, keep on winning. Yes, first she had the Isekai and she also had uh, in Metal Gear Solid. She also had One Piece. She's doing really well, but this is all because of the hard work that Mori puts out there. She puts a ton of hard work out there in general, in everything she does. So that is what's paying off right now. And I'm glad it's paying off for her. There are a lot of things to criticize Hololive for uh, because it's, its primary thing is that it's a large megalithic corporation and it is an old school corporation in the way it runs certain things, of course, because it is a Japanese corporation. So a lot of Japanese corporations run things very bureaucratically. Uh, that's one of the reasons, uh, at least one of the stated reasons why people said like Suisei and others said that uh, Aqua was thinking of moving on because the way that she wanted to be was not meshing with the the extreme regulations that corporations, agencies like Hololive have. And it's not necessarily that Hololive was doing a bad thing. So let me just make that straight. It's not that Hololive was doing a bad thing. It's just doing regular corporate stuff. And once things get too corporate, it can be uncomfortable for some and others it can be fine because you know if they just get used to it they're used to you know the the hustle and bustle it gives them more benefits than it does negatives etc now this is something that someone is is criticizing hololive for here about uh their take the amount that they take from their talents saying i've always been intrigued by how much money a hololive streamer actually makes a month by month in a way it's fair because they're employees of a company but it must be frustrating for them to see indie vtubers raking it in while yago and friends live the high life and back of, on the back of their streaming brothers is in a disandi they're getting good cut plus 10 percent of a million still more than 100 percent of a thousand any colors next door dude not here 
of course people were, were, were you know criticizing but they do they're not stupid adults many of them relatively successful too before joining hololive would have been stupid sacrificing freedom or even established fame for supposedly not much benefits unless you think they're stupid for not applying for not only applying but also staying inside a corporation when indie vtubers raking it in supposedly not every single indie vtuber is raking it in i am a big example i'm an indie vtuber i'm not raking it by any means and a lot of them weren't ex exactly huge before it. There's, you know, Gura who had her big following before she joined Hololive. You have Kiara. And of course, you have Kyle Kali who had their PLs who uh, were raking, not necessarily raking it in, but pretty darn popular. Still, they are smart. They're adults. They take everything into account. The fact that they joined Hololive means that they trusted in Hololive and they trusted in the dream that Yago had of making the EN market big when it came to the new ones. When it comes to like, you know, Regloss and heck, Hollow Stars, they have gotten a lot bigger than maybe they would have in their previous life if it wasn't for Hollow Life or Cover. And here's the difference. Here's the big difference between Hollow Life and Nidhi Sanji. Uh, for those people who are like, but you know, Hollow Life is doing exactly what Nidhi Sanji does. No, here's the difference. Hollow Life actually pays them a salary. Hollow Life actually treats them like employees. They get a base cut. They get a base of everything. There's base pay, minimum pay that you make for being a Hololive streamer. And then you get your merch cut, which is bigger than Nidhi Sandy's 2%. You get the 50%, which is normal for agencies, around 50%. After YouTube's cut of Super Chats, you get probably somewhere from what I've heard, rumors, these are all rumors, about 20 to 30% of your merch cut of profits of merch. That is net profits, not gross profits, net profits. After all expenses, everything's been paid. The net, you get something like 20 or 30%. Even if they get 10%, that's five times more than they get from Nidhi Sanj. And that's still a lot. You get the publicity of being in, in a, a how life streamer. You get... um a lot of benefits from it. Yes, there are downsides like bureaucracy and uh, you have to look for perms for everything, but they're doing that because of a freaking in Japan, there is no fair use. So you have to get perms for everything. That's why they do it that to protect it. Cause one little thing, just give you guys a little bit of background to, you know, discount what this guy says. Uh, Mio, Okami Mio almost got her channel suspended because Capcom struck her twice and was about to strike her three times for doing a stream. I believe it was Monster Hunter or something like that. A stream where there was no permission. And that's why is that? Because it is Japan. So all those protections are afforded to you for being in Hololive. You get legal protections. You get uh, strike protections and things like that for being in Hololive. And yes, they take their cut for that. And this person says here, don't think they're dumb. They just don't get paid for what they're worth. Also know they've signed waivers preventing them from just quitting and going indie. Obviously not with their current identity because Hololive still owns that, even with a new character. I need proof for that. I need proof for that. Where's the proof that they sign waivers? What they do sign is a contract saying that within this contract, you want you need to fully, you know, have it done out. You need to fully be there for the full year. Whether it be streaming or not, you cannot leave within that year. A lot of places have contracts like that. And it is normal in the VTuber industry to have contracts like that. And that is why I don't understand what this guy is doing. I don't understand what he's saying. And it says, yeah, Hollow pays so bad. They keep renewing the contract some seven years now and would praise Yago over and over again. And people might think the girls are forced to. Guess what? Fans met Yago and known him too. So that's impossible to make stuff up. And another thing, real quick, before I go too far into this, they also criticized the company openly about, like, remember, uh, Cali wasn't able to get perms for uh, Dark Souls, uh, Dark Souls 3. And, you know, uh, we had Kiara having some, some issues. We had Crony having some issues with perms as well. They are able to openly criticize their company, which isn't seen pretty much hardly anywhere else, honestly. For a big company like Hololive, it's hard to see other talents like from other agencies doing the same thing without being fear of reprisal. Something that I didn't expect to have to talk about again. Twitch is putting out some weird bans to uh, VTubers recently. Some very strange bans, in my opinion, to, to VTubers in uh, recent situations. Uh, this one is Alue. Uh, Alue? I hope I said it right. Neither way. Uh, they are. They debuted 10.13. They're, fully, they're doing their full debut, their re-debut on 10.13. Uh, Twitch support, can I beg you to look at my appeal? Streaming is my life and absolutely a mistake, please. And here's where they're saying it. Uh, hello, why are you banned my baby girl? <laughs> May, it's so dumb. Uh, please look at this because this ban is very clearly 100% a mistake. If you're my girl, yo, please look at this. She's innocent. Fix this issue, please. This needs to be received it immediately there's no reason for the ban twitch really be sitting on their thumbs in their butts people are getting angry of course and aloe says as well bought it or automated accounts they they've been they've been having this issue i went over the issue of the improper bans that happened recent for a, a supposedly uh stolen credit cards supposedly fraud going on in there 
and things like that. Um, this is really bad. In the case of Twitch, in the case of anybody that has to deal with this kind of stuff, um, a VTuber is not a bot. A VTuber is a virtual YouTuber with a person behind it. There is no bot. Posting large amounts of unsolicited advertisements, malicious links, or general spam with a botted or automated account. Looks like there was a ban wave that hit in Twitch and she got hit with. They specifically got hit with. And this is just, yeah. Uh, just please take my PL is banned for testing a new bot command in my offline chat. I'm not a bot. And chat command that links to my Twitch TV subs page is not malicious in any way. I'm begging you to restore my account. So they were testing some things out, it looks like testing some things out in the offline chat and uh they were seen as a bot it's risky to test those types of things out i i know that myself that's why i don't test them out very much but it is a mistake anyone who's curious about the reason behind my ban yes this is actually why they banned me uh, my mods and i personally testing my bot commands in my chat getting to it to look right took a few tries my bad so if you're a streamer be careful with testing your bot too yes i have a um salvi chat bot that is not active right now i don't know why it's been not, not active for a bit it is I think it uses Tangi or some other thing. So it uses a, a um, an AI type thing that what it does is it responds with like dad jokes and things like that. So it is it is basically a little chat bot that responds with dad jokes sometimes. It responds with, you know, it's it's an AI based chat bot that what it does is it'll respond to your stuff. It'll be like, hey, you know, uh, make sure to get something to drink. Hey, you know, uh, make you know, make sure to, to check Salvi out and to, you know, follow if you really like them that type of thing. It doesn't spam. It just responds to, to messages. A lot of VTubers, a lot of people have this, like Aloe says that as well. They have that. And that is um, not a bad thing to have. It's something that just pops up and it is a thing that you test out. It's not an actual like bot bot, like, you know, I'm trying to bot my stuff. No, it's something that actually is doing it to, you know, in the moments that I can't chat with people, it chats with them for me type of thing. You know, and uh, I don't want to be hit with that either. So I'm, I'm very, very careful with it. SumiCon Houston, Texas is another uh, VTuber convention that is happening soon. It says in hopes to expand your VTuber community. Uh, we've teamed up with notable teams to bring you a grand VTuber experience with 100 plus VTuber guests participating. We'd like to invite you for a weekend filled with VTuber meet and greets, panels and special performances. Uh, for more information, we're going to go to that site in a, in a little bit. Song is Waifu Baby Too Fast. This is their their announcement. Thingy Madubes of VTuber Land. It is, of course, I'm not going to play the music for you. Can't wait. It is uh, in collaboration with SumiCon. We present VTuber Land, the Oshi Bar. Oshi Bar will be at SumiCon uh, assisting with operations and we'll have bars with our signature drinks throughout the con. See you there, Oshi Crew. So that is one of the big announcements. Can't wait to get wasted in the name of my Oshi. Let's go. Yeah, let's freaking go. Praying for Hazel Milk. I uh, love to see it. Yes, I need to go now. A lot of people are going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, Sumicon, of course. V2 Land meet and greet. A lot of people, big and small, are going there. Featured guests, it's Victoria and Cottontail for the NSFW game show. Then we have Podgkin and Camilla Bombette. Camilla Bombette, we have Just Mishi. Uh, oh my God, get your D rated by Just Mishi. Everybody curious how attractive your is? Come and find out. What the, f what the, f I've never heard of this. This is, this is, uh, what the hell? Okay. Horror stories, VTuber horror stories. Um, Kira P, other people here, Waifu Baby, and of course, Captain Hana and Ellie. All, all the Goyles. This one is a surprise to me. Um, this is, this is, this one is a surprise to me. The Just Mishy one. That is something I did not expect from a VTuber con. But uh, in NSFW areas, it is... It is, uh, it is what it is, as they say. And um, yeah, that's unique. It's very unique. Good luck to VTuber Land, and in, that's gonna be at SumiCon and uh, with the Oshi Bar and everyone there, and uh, everyone who's gonna go. Have fun in Houston, Texas. Hopefully, it's not gonna be hot. Hopefully, there's not gonna be any uh, storms happening, and you guys can enjoy yourselves. We have Idol ES girls going to uh, Off Kai Expo mag west out guys will add mag west uh magic bunny will be swarming the off kai mag west on the 28th and i'm assuming this 20th of september uh by the time you've watched this it may have passed it may not still be going i'm just putting it out there when i when i can uh taiga toragami who recently had a birthday also from idol es is uh are you going to mag west 2024 because this biako will be appearing there hope i can see you september 28th at 12 p.m pst it's a looks like it's a meet and greet or something like that Catch us at Mag West this weekend. A lot of other people are going to be going on there. Um, the Offkai Expo VTuber convention is, is just announcing it. And another one, the final one that I know of, is Akugaki Koa, who's for also from Idol ES. Whoopsie, somebody's going to spread real chaos this Saturday. Mag West Invasion at 12 p.m. A PDT, of course. Because uh, it's going to be, I think, in Northern California, I believe. Uh, do you think you keep up with this little devil? Then don't miss a date. 
Uh, be sure to spread the word so we can make the, the most chaotic chaos ever. Here we go. Let the chaos spread all over the event. Enjoy and have a nice participation, of course. And that is uh, all we have right now when it comes to the idle ES girls going to Mag West. Unfortunately, I say unfortunately because it's always a very sad moment when people have uh, decided to graduate. Uh, VTuber graduation, I was debuting, debating whether to post this, but I thought the sooner the better. As of October 8th, I will be stopping all VTuber activities and moving on as an IRL streamer. Please ready everything, but read everything below. It says ready, but read everything below. So you get the full picture. Thank you, everyone. And of course, I'm going to open it in a new uh, tab, the actual image in a new tab, because if not, you guys aren't going to be able to read it and I'm not going to be able to make it bigger for you guys. Hello, everyone. This is Sylvan Rosen. As, may, as some may know, I decided to take the leap and leave the VTuber community and pursue my streaming activity as an IRL streamer. My last stream will be Sunday, October 8th. As for this, the Discord will be disappearing and the Twitter channel will be gone by midnight on the same day. So they are deleting everything. They're not even leaving it up for archive purposes. I've been in the VTuber community for over two plus years and I love my time here. However, it's gotten to a point where I feel like my time as a VTuber is coming to an end. And that is a personal decision that everyone has to make, of course. With the overgrowing of the VTuber population, I feel like it's time to move forward with new ideas and opportunities. It was an amazing time I had in this community, and I love the moments I had with you all. For the friends I made in the community, I will start. I will still support you all. I will still be able to collaborate with people if they want to. Never going to stop that because uh, or change that either. Thank you all for the love, support, fun, sad, and random scuff we had on our journey. It's time for a new chapter in my life. Started streaming as a VTuber because of my lowest self-esteem from body image and negative comments about my life uh, throughout my life and since sixth grade. My view on how I look at my body was so negative that I hated myself so much. However, I've slowly been getting out of myself and loving who I am as a whole, which is amazing. It's an amazing reason to go IRL to do this. I want to express my improvement as an IRL streamer. I want to show and help people grow to love who they are and what they do and not hide behind a picture. Well, I mean, not everyone hides behind a picture. People love themselves for who they are and still are behind a picture. Like I love myself for who I am. I'm not a, I'm not a small dude. I'm a big dude, but I love myself for who I am and I'm still behind a picture. I always drop in the name Sylvan Rosen and just going by Sylvan and the name of the channel will change to something more me. I understand you all came to the VTuber and not for the person behind the scene when it comes to looks. So thank you for the time we had and I hope you can find this happiness and entertainment. Last stream is on Sunday, October 8th at 10 a.m. PST as we say goodbye to Ghost Boyle and have fun playing games one last time. So that sucks for, for anyone. Sad to see you go, but hope you can come across each other again eventually. Hope to see you around too. So have time after the graduation, we can still hang. Uh, going to miss you. A lot of people are going to miss them. A lot of people are saying, you know, that um, just uh, they're just going to be having their their decision. And yes, it's going to hurt people. But it's a decision that they made because of positivity. They want positivity to go through. So let's leave it as a positive note. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to give back to the VTuber community. Make it a positive place. Make it a place where I can uh, showcase wonderful channels that are growing and uh you know you guys can see whether you like it or not it is a choice up to you i just try to spread the love and every single type of vtuber that i can find i will try to show as many as i can we are already over 170 as far as i can tell and we are going to continue going for as long as i can as long as i'm able to here we have spooky neko it is 18 plus nsfw sleepy neko vtuber cozy streamer and a loving wife to ogi ogichi game so married and this is going to affect in some cases some people because some people want them to be available i've already talked this about it on my stream before but let's go and see their the, what they have here we have a uh, spooky neko girl 1.4k followers on uh, twitch for doing their their about section as we always do i am spooky knuckle girl but everyone just calls me spooky for short i'm very chatty cat that happens to be cozy streamer you'll find that i play a variety of games and i find online uh steam and nintendo switch games i do play dead by daylight myself or with friends however you can catch me playing retro games as well uh favorite killers dead by daylight is trickster so yeah play survivor movies play survivors and things like that lets you know all the other stuff that they do let's take a look at one of their pieces of content that they have here about hiring a teacher that has a sexual heart that says feel me call me and it has a little kissy heart on it and it's near her ass crack why is she teaching freshman high school english she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing she's a history teacher and clearly we can see where her history is man <laughs> oh god okay so there you go you have a little bit of that and the final thing we're gonna see as always when they have a youtube channel i like to show their youtube channel as well here we have uh some vods some recent uploads they were done uh not very recently actually three months ago was the most recent one 10 months ago was the most recent one uh this is a placeholder at the moment of course because they are focusing it seems like focusing a lot more on their twitch channel 
which is normal when you are a streamer. You focus on the streaming platform, which is Twitch, which tends to be a better streaming platform than YouTube. Thank you so much for being a part of this VTuber showcase. Thank you for allowing me to showcase you on my channel. And I do hope that this helps you grow or at least gets more eyes on your content. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.